Hey guys, welcome back to Dice at Dusk. I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that I've been away for a pretty long time. I've just bought a new house. I have a new baby that's uh, just a month old. She'll be a month old tomorrow. Um, and what I'm doing now is I have a, a little game room in here. You can see it. I have my TV, my PlayStation, Xbox, um, my games now. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to sell my games just to make, sell, sell some of my games to make room for these, for what I have here. Um, what I wanted to talk about was two games that I came across because I do have a daughter that I'm just, I just keep thinking, you know what, this would be great when she's old enough for me to teach her. And I figured I would just uh, relay that message to you with the games that I have that I just could not sell because they are going to be great for when she's four or five years old, if not maybe even a little younger. So the two games that I have are Roll For It, whoop, Roll For It, and Quick Pick. Now, these games are super easy to teach a child. Uh, Roll For It is a dice game where, let's see if I can pull something out here. You are going to be rolling dice, making a pool of dice, and Yahtzee-ishing, if, if you want to say that. And you're trying to match these cards, and then you gain a point, whatever the point value is of the card. So you're, you're rolling your dice, and you're setting them aside to try to add up to these cards or try to match these cards. And when you match them, then the person gets it and, get, and gets those points from the card. And the reason why I couldn't get rid of this game is because it does a lot of good things. It, it teaches, like, matching, counting, um, and even, like, the, the counting and the points. And it's just super, super, super easy to teach a young kid. Now, the other game that I had was a really one. I haven't even opened it yet because I haven't really found anybody to play it with. But it's called Quick Pick. Quick Pick. And in this game, you're going to have all of these little, these little cards with faces onto, on the table. And then somebody on the table is going to make a face. And then people have to slam their hand down and try to guess what face they're trying to make out of these monster cards and it's a super again a super super silly game that i just felt like it would be so great for 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 me to sit down with my daughter when she's uh four or five years old and teach her but i just wanted to say that i was i was packing some board games up and i was posting some online and i just said you know what maybe i'll uh i'll share these games that i just could not sell because of this reason but anyway, thanks for listening. Uh, I know, again, you haven't heard from me in a very long time. But hopefully we do more of these uh, here and there. My, my power supply and my computer kind of crap the bed, so I can't video edit. So it's going to be a lot of these, these cell phone type videos. So let me know if you, know, you're, you like it, you don't like it, or if it just is terrible. But anyway, until next time, play more games.